Hey guys, uh, this video I'm going to show you how to disable secure boot in the UEFI BIOS for Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, the specific motherboard I have is the ASUS 888X Pro. Uh, the BIOS on most current ASUS motherboards should be the same as this. If you don't have an ASUS motherboard, your BIOS might be slightly different, but the process should generally be the same. Now, if you've never booted into the BIOS on your motherboard before and you're using an ASUS motherboard, you'll probably come to this screen. This is the easy mode screen. In order to disable secure boot, you need to switch to advanced mode. And now you have a screen that probably looks a lot similar to most BIOSes that people are familiar with. You need to switch over to the boot tab and find the secure boot section and go to key management. Before you make any changes here, I would suggest backing up your, uh, secure, your secure boot keys by clicking save secure boot keys and then choosing a destination to save to. Once you've done that you need to delete the PK management key. Once that's deleted secure boot will be disabled and you when you reboot the computer you won't have anything complaining about you can't do something because of secure boot. Uh, two main things that are hindered by Secure Boot is you cannot set up a dual boot with Linux if Secure Boot is enabled on Windows 8 or Windows 10 with a UEFI BIOS. And you cannot install unsigned drivers, which that's the reason I've had to disable it. But that's all there is to it. Uh, just find your secure boot, secure boot section, go into key management, and delete the PK management key. If at some point you need to re-enable secure boot, uh, just hit load PK, key, PK from file, assuming you made a backup, and it'll be restored. That's all there is for this video. Thanks for watching.